plan to take you out but God blocked it it is good to be back in the house of the Lord on this Sunday another Sunday that the Lord has kept all of us and I'm glad to be here anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord This time I'm going to ask the deacon.
It may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen next month or next year. But listen to this. It will happen. Because God has ordained it to happen. And if he promised it, it will come to pass. But let me warn you, let me warn you. Uh, you won't be able to get there by going in a straight line. Uh, at times, your path will be redirected. Uh, there will be no shortcuts to get to your destiny. You will need patience in order to reach your destiny. And let me encourage you to wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Stop trying to set your own course to your destiny and let God direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways. Acknowledge him. And he shall. I said and he shall. Direct thy paths. When you do this. You will find out it will be a lot easier. The reason some of you are having a difficult time is because you're trying to do it all by yourself. But tell somebody you got to turn it over to God and let him direct your path. You got to learn how to wait on the Lord. And listen, I figured it out. That wait doesn't mean you just sit there and do nothing. That means you praise him every time you get a chance to praise him. You send up some thank you Jesuses every time you get a chance. You clap your hands every time you get a chance. That's how you wait on the Lord and watch what he gives you when you learn how to wait on him. Anybody ever waited on the Lord? I said, has anybody ever waited on the Lord? Uh-huh, you thought it was over, but you waited on him. And he directed your path. Even though life and the process of development may come with personal disappointments. Remember that hope does not disappoint. When we allow detours and disappointments to produce hope, God promises that hope will not disappoint. Hope is the evidence of knowing the unseen will work in your favor. And that's when your now faith has to kick in. Does anybody have any now faith? Well, if you have now faith, you have some hope. What is your hope? Well, I want you to know that God has already went into your future and set things up for you. Tell somebody, God has set me up and my future looks bright. I said, my future looks bright. Listen, somebody's getting ready to walk into their future. I don't know who it is, but something just said to me, somebody's getting ready to walk into to your future and this pastor is here to tell you your future got some good stuff for you everything you've been through you're going to get paid back for it because what you went through everything the enemy has stole from you you're getting ready to get it back plus some more tell somebody I'm going to walk into my future In order to arrive at genuine hope in your spirit, accepting your detours is necessary. Just because things didn't go the way you thought they should have gone in your past. And there's one thing you got to remember. God is in control. And one more thing, he knows what he's doing. When you was trying to go left, he made you go right. Because he knows what he's doing. Just like 
your muscles will not grow simply by wishing them to grow strong. The pain through the process of strengthening your hope comes in detours, tribulations, afflictions, and trials. Yes, I found out your faith gets stronger doing the tough stuff you go through in life. It gets stronger. Show me someone with unshakable hope. And I will show you someone who has had his or her share of detours. Uh, this is because genuine hope is a learned trait. Uh, genuine hope is that level of hope which says that which stays steady despite the storm and circumstances. It is the hope that enables you to keep going on faith alone. Hope allows you to believe when nothing looks like it's happening, to continue to walk in faith despite the delays. Hope produces now faith and allows you even in the most difficult circumstances of your life to know that it shall be well. It lets you know that your future looks bright. And you will be able to declare that everything is going to be all right. And listen, your delays are not denials. God is just changing your course to get you to your future. God knows what each, what each of us need in order to develop and strengthen our spiritual muscles. And sharpen our spiritual insight and wisdom. More often than not, this requires detours in life to allow us the opportunity to learn, grow, and develop. Brothers and sisters, destiny is not a matter of chance, it's a matter of choice. <laughs> Let me say that again destiny is not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. In other words, it's up to you how you get to your destiny. My advice to you is don't abandon your destiny. God has plans for you. And guess what? Eyes have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man. The things which God hath prepared for them that love him. So my question is, does anybody love the Lord this morning? I said, does anybody love the Lord this morning? Well, you're getting ready to see your future. You're getting ready to walk into your future. If you love him, you're going to walk right into it. As a matter of fact, somebody going to walk out of this church today. And you're going to get a phone call and your future is going to get bright. Is it you? Do you believe this man of God? Listen, the reason you're going through the circumstances you're going through is because God is trying to build your faith so you will learn to lean on him. I've learned not to lean on people because people will let you down. Your family will let you down. Uh, your friends will let you down. Your job will let you down. But Jesus will never let you down. Can you tell somebody Jesus will never let you down? Do I have any witnesses in here today uh -huh, that can stand with me and say he will never let you down? If he done it before, he can do it again. I said if he done it before, he can do it. Yeah, has he ever brought you out of anything? Well, I'm here to tell you, he can bring you out again. You need to learn how to lean on Jesus. So if you want the destiny God has for you, you have to trust in him. Somebody said, I will trust in the Lord until I die. Do I have anybody here that's going to trust in him until you die? The hymn says, on Christ, the solid rock, I 
dry stand. All other ground is sinking sand. My job can be sinking sand. <laughs> My family can be sinking sand. My friends can be sinking sand. But on Christ the solid rock, tell somebody you need to start standing on the rock. <laughs> friends, everything else will fail. But Jesus never fails. That's why today I can declare I'm getting to my destiny. I may have to crawl, uh -huh, but I'm getting to my destiny. I may have to limp, but I'm getting to my destiny. I may have to leave some friends, but I'm getting to my destiny. I may have to let some family members go, but I'm getting to my destiny. I may have to cry myself to sleep, but I'm getting to my destiny. Do I have anybody in here that feel like I feel? You're gonna get to your, your destiny. Yes, I'm on my way to my destiny. To victory, I'm on my way. No chains holding me. It's right in my reach. I see clearly I'm on my way. I want you to know that it's about 10 folk that's on their way to their destiny. But if you want to definitely get your destiny, you got to praise him no matter how you feel. Uh -huh. You got to praise him for the good times uh, and the bad times. Uh, David said, I will bless the Lord mm -hmm. uh, at all times. Uh, his praise uh, shall continually uh, be in my mouth. Uh, somebody scream up in here. Uh, it's not in your hands. Uh, it's not in your feet. Uh, it's in your mouth. Uh, you got to open up your mouth uh, and tell him thank you. Uh, you got to open up your mouth uh, and say I thank you Jesus uh, because he's been good to you. Uh, has he been good uh, to anybody in here? Uh, I said has he been good uh, to anybody in here? Uh, well if you know uh, you're on your way uh, to your destiny. Uh, I dare you to start praising him right now. Uh, I said I dare you to start praising him. Uh, somebody clap your hands. Uh -huh. Somebody stomp their feet. Uh -huh. Somebody say thank you. Uh -huh. Open up your mouth uh, and tell them hallelujah. Uh, open up your mouth uh, and tell them thank you. Uh, I need somebody to run for me. Uh, can somebody run for me? Uh, run, deacons, run. Uh, because your destiny uh, is right around the corner. Uh, if you believe your destiny uh, is right around the corner, uh, go to three people and tell them, uh, I'm getting to my destiny. Uh, get to three people and tell them, uh, I'm getting to my destiny. Uh, Cry, but I'm getting there. I have to crawl, but I'm getting there. People treated me bad, but I'm getting there. I might not have no money, but I'm getting there. Tell them I'm, I, 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 I'm getting there. I got to get to my destiny. I've been in the fire, but I'm out now. I tell somebody I'm out. Anybody been in the fire? But guess what? God was in there with you. And you can dance, dance in the fire. Do I have about 24? You've been in the fire and you learn how to dance in the fire. I said, did you been in the fire? But you learn how to dance in the fire. You didn't have money in your pocket, but you still got to dance. Uh -huh. You were sick in your body, but you still got to praise. I dare you to start dancing right now. Dance to your destiny. Don't just sit there. If you want to get to your destiny, you got to show some signs of life. You are not dead. You still have a chance. It's time to go to your destiny. I dare 20 people to run around this church and say, I'm on my way.
It's your choice if you're going to get to your destiny.
predict the future. Come up here and shake my hand and say, Pastor, I got my destiny.
turn to somebody and tell them, man, your destiny look good on you. Your destiny looks good.